Hello. My name is Deep. And do you know the meaning of Deep? It means uh, to be uh, small, small in the ass, yes. And you know why my name is Deep? No? It's because I was born on the day of Diwali. So my mom decided to keep my name as Deep. And that's why we are here to celebrate Diwali. Okay. So before we start doing the craft and everything, we should know why we are here. So can I tell you a story? Can I tell you a story? I'm going to be a little slow because we have kids over here who speak Danish and uh, their mother is going to help them in understanding the story. So I'll go a little slow. Does everybody know about the festival of lights in Diwali? Yes. Now it's very important to know the story, for, to concentrate on what I'm saying because after the story we are going to have a quiz and whoever answers the questions correctly gets some candies. So do you want to have candies? No. No? Why? I don't like candies. Okay, so I'll start with the story now. Diwali or the festival of lights. Once upon a time, there was a king named Dashrath. He had four sons. Listen carefully. He had four sons. Ram, Bharat, Lakshman and Shatrugan. Okay? The oldest son was called Ram. When Ram married a lovely princess called Sita, what was Ram's wife's name? Sita. King Dashrath decided to give up the throne and let Ram take over his throne. So he wanted Ram to become the king. Ram's stepmother was very jealous. She wanted the throne for her son Bharat. A long time before, she had saved King Dashrath's life. And then he had promised her that he would give her two wishes. And she said that now I want to use those two wishes. And how did she use those two wishes? She asked King Dashrath, I want my son Bharat to become the king. And I want Ram to leave the kingdom and go to the forest for 14 years. How many years? 14 years. Yes. So, Ravan. Now it's time to introduce the villain in the story. Yes. Ravan, the demon king with ten heads, heard of Sita's beauty and goodness and planned to kidnap her. So when Ram and Sita went uh, with Lakshman to the forest, Ravan, a demon king who had ten heads, heard about Sita's beauty, that she's so beautiful, and he wanted to kidnap her. Do you think it's a good idea? No. So, he made a plan. And what was the plan? To kidnap her. Yeah, yeah. The plan was to kidnap her, but how to kidnap her? To, to make, I know, to, to make a, a, some trap by putting a deer, and then each of the things that we do to hunt it, then, then, then the problem Yes, so he knows it. So by magic, he asked his cousin to turn into a golden deer. Seeing the deer, Sita was tempted and asked Rama, Can you please get me that deer? I really want that deer. And when Rama did not return, she also asked Lakshman to go and get that deer. Do you know what happened next? Rama came to kidnap 
Yes. In a, nah. uh, in a pose of a beautiful man. Yes. So, yes. So, Ravan, who was waiting for just this opportunity, disguised as a holy man, and approached Sita for asked. When Sita stepped close to Ravan, he grabbed her with his arms and took her away. Okay, yes, I can tell you about Lakshman Rekha. You missed the part when there's a demon in the forest of the world. Oh, yes. See, it's a very long story. But if I have to, if I have to make a summary of the story, you know, it's a big book. So if I have to make a summary of the story, I cannot tell everything. But you are most welcome to come over here and say, once I'm done. Would you like to do this? So facts that I have missed in the story. <laughs> okay. So, Ravan, the ten-headed demon, took Sita to Lanka. Where did he take Sita to? Lanka. Lanka. Sri Lanka. Yes. And imprisoned her in a garden named Ashokvatika. So where was Sita imprisoned? In a garden called Ashokvatika. And gave a time of 12 months for her to decide if she wants to marry Ravan or not. Do you think Sita would marry Ravan? No! And at the end, I don't want to marry Ravan. Yeah, but no. Okay. Ram, uh, Ram and Lakshman searched for Sita. They couldn't find Sita. And then they met, they met a brave monkey. A warrior called Hanuman. Yes. So he is a monkey god, and he and Ram and Lakshman, while they were looking for Sita, met this warrior, monkey warrior called Hanuman. Hanuman and his friends promised Rama to help in finding Sita. But what about this So there you go. There is Hanuman. Isn't he cute? But it doesn't look like that. He's giant. He could be giant and he could... Yes, that's right. Ravan had captured Sita and kept her across a big ocean. So, yes, he kept her across a big ocean. But how would Ram and Lakshman and Hanuman and his entire army reach, reach Sita? the monkey made a bridge of rocks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> Hanuman and his army helped in making a bridge. Yes, made up of stones and rocks. And they written something on the Yes. See? They have written. Can you see on the screen? Yes. They, they wrote. There is a story behind this also. You know what happened? When they were making the bridge with the stones, every time they were trying to put the stone, the stone was sinking. But as soon as they wrote Ram, because Ram has got magical powers, as soon as they wrote Ram on the stone, the stone started floating and they could make this big bridge and that is how they crossed the ocean. <laughs> so now, after this, Ravan was finally, you know, in Ram's hand. And then, this was one of the greatest battles ever seen. The fighting lasted for 10 whole days and finally Rama killed the demon. But he killed when the arrow is made from, the, from all the gods. Yes, that's right. So finally he killed Ravana. It took 10 days to kill him. The fight went on for 10 days and on the 10th day when he killed, that is when we celebrate a festival called Diwali! No, no. It's called it's called Yes, it's called Dashera. It's called Dashera, and Dashera is celebrated all over India. 
Tashera. Yeah. And Tashera. Yes. All over India. And in West Bengal, the name of this festival is Durga Puja. What is it? Durga Puja. Yes. So, and then after all this adventure, Rama and his family decided to return home. But it was a moonless, dark night. But people were so happy that Rama was returning home that they lit the entire farm and their houses with candles, with lamps, diyas. You know the diyas that you're going to make now with them. And that's when, and you know why they did that? Just to show Ram, Lakshman, Sita to guide them way back home. So this, that is why this is the day when on this moonless night when Rama, Sita and Lakshman were returning and when the whole uh, kingdom was decorated with Diyas. This is the festival, This is Diwa, that was the day of Diwali when they welcomed oh them back goodness. home by lighting their houses everywhere. <coughs> so that is why Diwali is called festival of lights. Can you tell me the moral of the story? Yes. Festival of lights, that's true. But what does it really mean? Yeah. Yes, something like that. So Diwali is also known as festival of lights where the light signifies victory of good over evil. There are many things, there are many bad things inside us and this story tells you that you can win over those bad things. So, the, the, the whole, the, this, this uh, festival signifies the victory of good over evil. Rama was a good person and Rama is not. So, he won, he killed him and that's how. We in India, Diwali is the most important festival and it is, it, uh, it is celebrated, uh, it's the most important festival celebrated. Yes, that's true. It's the biggest uh, festival of Hindus and it is celebrated all across India. On this day, what do we do? Mm. Yes. Yes. And get gifts. Yes. And one one more thing we do on this day. And do fireworks. Yes. So you have answered all the questions already. I made some questions, but I think all the questions are already answered. So are you ready for the quiz now? Yes. yes. I don't know the answer ready. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> You should, you should get a big candy box for this. Yeah, and if you want to share something which I missed, please talk. I don't want any candy.